Hello everybody and welcome back to New So Far. We are jumping in again and we Um Hello? Who is this? Is this Andromeda? J just a just a hot minute here. I realize we're gonna lose our streak by doing this, but I have to just check who this is. This is Andromeda, right? Not that we've unlocked Andromeda yet, but like I have to check this. This is quite bizarre. I am not quite sure what's going on there. Of course, we do have the 20 second wait to start a run for some goddamn reason that I'll never know. Um, it is bizarre. It is strange. But it happens. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, shit. He got updated. Okay, be right back one second. Okay, now this is definitely cheating, but we don't technically have this guy unlocked, but a massive massive update just came out for this character like and i mean just i did not know that this was coming out it just came out like a second ago like but like literally within three minutes of me booting up the game this this just before was a thing so we're gonna try this out apparently there's a lots of lots of new stuff with the base character but the biggest thing is there's a tainted character now then there's unlocks welcome back samuel now has completion mark tracking and unlocks awesome um do you want to be given the completion marks um, for the original? No thanks, I'll get them myself. Okay, let's. Uh, so first of all, I'm noticing new scythe sprite and a slightly new attack animation there. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, technically we don't have this guy unlocked. Um, we, we were supposed to do some stuff to unlock him, but I'm just going to waver that right now because the unlock method I have for him was really dodgy anyways. Um, it was like get death's touch and kill... Um, kill the lamb with it or something it was kind of dodgy but with this being a new update i would very much like to show this off um even though i realize we do have a backlog um so oh can we yeah you can grab stuff now with him you could never do that before that's awesome also oh new visual effect for this as well awesome yeah you can grab stuff with his scythe now that's awesome uh don't know what that does um yeah, this has got a bit of a backlog, so this won't be, like, the day the update comes out for you guys. But for me, it is. Oh, bugger, he hit me. Oh, my lord. All the webbing in this room just ruined me. It's because those little enemies, like, pooter out into a bunch of webbing. Um, I think I can do this. Oh, come on now. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's try and find that item room first. Yes, as for the question of the day, what is an update that you're waiting for? Either it be an Isaac mod, a game update, or something. What What's an update that's on your mind at the minute? Something that you're really sort of patiently awaiting? Because obviously Repentance for me was that big one for a long time. But plenty of other games have these sort of big sweeping updates that are coming. Um... Many of them I do not know of, but um, I'm sure there's a few out there that people are really highly anticipating. And it'd be interesting to hear um, what are some of those for some of you out there. Let's see what item we get. That's actually a synergy, I think, with this guy. Um, I'm, I think it changes our blade. Okay, it didn't change our blade, but it did increase our blade's size. Oh, wait. Is that just based on range upgrade? So it looks like range affects your blade size now, which is definitely new. Uh, honestly, more speed upgrade really really nice um i'll de definitely take that okay i am on board with this so far very on board with it the scythe is way cooler i don't know what it is i think it's just it just looks a bit meatier i think that's what it is oh there you go beautiful that was awesome i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this character here and jesus juice let's just see yes my scythe got bigger range increases the size of your scythe that is very, very intriguing. I really, really like that. Now, we really ought to do a beast run here because we can unlock Tainted Samuel, um, which has never been a character before. That's an entirely new character. So, oh, Mom's Contact is honestly fantastic for this. Like, really, really good. The Scythe, it just feels so much more, so much smoother. I think it's just because you attack correctly, like, the animation plays correctly, but uh, in the direction that you're facing, but also... The animation does just feel generally better. Oh, I'm I'm honestly in love with this. 
This is awesome. This just feels so, so satisfying. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I love the fact that you can pick stuff up behind rocks now as well. That that was honestly always a thing I really disliked about this character. Because it, it wasn't like a huge thing, but it just didn't make any sense that the Forgotten, the only true vanilla melee character, could do it. And this guy couldn't. It was always a weird point of contention I had for this character. Um, but that seems to have been solved. Uh, God's Flesh. Don't think that's going to do anything to our blade. No. Um, I don't know if any synergies were added. Um, I did have a look at the patch notes and just quickly glanced over at them. I didn't see anything about that. Uh, but there is potential that more synergies were added that, that change how the blade works. That would be really cool. Yeah. Careful on those guys. But yeah, God's Flesh, I don't imagine being all that useful. I think Mum's Contact... It's going to be the big thing here. Honestly, look upgrades would be really nice. But yeah, I'm imagining the reason we didn't have an icon for this character is just a small bug that has happened on releasing the mod, considering it was literally just released. This might be the earliest I've ever been to a release of a... Um, to a release of a... New, like, new update to a mod. Uh, especially a big one. Uh, honestly, just because this is brand new... And I'm recording this, like, only a few hours before the episode is meant to go out. Uh, I might upload this out of order. I might upload this out of order. Honestly, Hierophant there, fantastic. Moon is decent. Actually, I'm going to take the moon on this floor because I want to take the other... I used the Emperor by accident. Whoops. I want to take the world down with me. What's this again? This is a bit of backtracking for us here, but honestly proved to be quite worthwhile. Hey, a damage up black art, rather nice. I don't remember if Malak Mott makes you invincible, but I could use it to maybe get into the curse room if it does. But yeah, I'm just not sure. And then, I don't know what this does. I'm going to just use it. Okay, it just spawns a shop. I thought that's what it did, um, but I didn't have the money for it anyways. But let's keep it going. Use the world card on the next floor. Try and use Malak Mott a little more as well. It's a character that um, you really got to be using your abilities as much as you can, and I, I tend not to. Um, I tend to, like, try to save them for the right moment, and oftentimes the right moment is kind of all the time, because it's, it's pretty quick to charge up, so even here, just speeds up the room a little bit. Um, I guess I'll take that for the boss. I don't know how valuable that'll be, but I'm pretty sure the champ beast is a melee one as well, which is going to be pretty fun. Also, do you see the fact that I shrunk that guy and uh, for us at the same time? I kind of like that. Like I said, God's Flesh is just one of those items that I feel is rarely ever useful. Um, I don't know how many people rate God's Flesh as like a good item, but it, it can't be many. This is a great room for this. Honestly, the extra like swing speed is going to be so good for triggering like Mum's Contact and stuff as well. Um, Stitches is honestly fantastic. I will say that that card over there, the misprinted Joker, is really good. But Stitches is going to allow us to get in and out of curse rooms quickly. Um, it's not going to matter about grabbing things over gaps because that's not a concern to us anymore as we have established. But Stitches allows us to um, destroy fires, shopkeepers, and get into cash rooms for free. Um, honestly, I'd rather take this. I'd rather take the Soul of the Forgotten here. Not that we have it unlocked, but it just spawns in that room. Um, just because... Uh, I want to be able to use a sacrifice room for free and get six players on it if I find one. Not one on this floor, but if I do find one, that'll be very, very nice. Why did I even hit that guy? Uh, another moon card here, which is unfortunately a little bit useless. But yeah, something I always forget about with this guy is you can do this. Really, really useful. And it also works on blue fires and purple fires as well, which is, I think, the lesser known part. I... Whoops. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that, clearly. I thought I had Malak Mott available. I most certainly did not. Also, we got two pretty bad cards out of that, so thank you for that game. That has been a rousing success. Come on. Member card. Nice. Yes, that has unfortunately been a complete waste. 
Really big shame there. That is completely unintentional, but sometimes you have those you have those brain farts. I say sometimes, I have them literally all the time. Check down here real quick. I might blow up my damnation machine. Is there anything super good here? Unfortunately, down here, the only thing there that I would want is the wafer, and that is way out of cost. But I will get Mum's key, because um, it's going to cost us a chunk of change. But it's a very, very good item that gives us a few keys to boot as well, which is honestly awesome. Um, but being able to open chests over gaps, plus the ability for those chests to contain more, it just seems like a recipe for success. Wouldn't you say? Bag boy is going to open into a bunch of these. Oh, that was that was very satisfying. I'd like to try and do boss rush here if we can. With this guy being a melee character, we are gen generally a bit quicker. But I have to admit, I've been going pretty slow thus far. So I don't know if it's going to happen. Another speed up pill. Awesome. That was an unfortunate hit there. Very nice. And just some HP up. Not amazing, but not terrible. And yeah, we just keep going. I'd really like to get Boss Rush done with this guy. Because with this guy actually having proper unlocks now, I mean, if we press escape, we can see his actual uh, completion mark show up as well. Uh, why did I leave this room? Dude, that, I'm completely fine with taking damage there. That was a little bit annoying, but I'm fine with it. Yes, you can now hit those as well. That's so good. Before, you couldn't do that either. Um, that's something that I always look for in a melee character. Oh, my little dude has a little scythe. The cutest little thing I've ever done seen in my life. Now, I am going to check in here, but... Uh, D12 is actually pretty decent, I'll take it. And also, I can utilize both of these, so why not? Lucky to look upgrade versus speed. Honestly, I think I'd rather have the speed. I'm only going to bother waiting for that to play out in rooms with a, a large amount of, um... Thank you, little, my little dudes. Uh, I'm only going to wait for the D12 in, in rooms with a large amount of stuff that it can reroll. Um, if it's not much stuff, then I'm not really going to bother. And I realise I can destroy purple fires and stuff, but honestly, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Okay, wait for the reroll in this room, because I should be able to get myself over to, uh... Oh, really? Yeah, that's still pretty good. We can destroy that for some money. We got a soul heart out of that from somewhere. I think that was a blue fire that gave us that. Got you. D12 go. It's, it, it's wasting time to D12 all of these, but it can be pretty darn useful. Um, room's a bit annoying. Yeah, not too bad. That was pretty quick. Psy fly is, of course, amazing for a, a melee character. We're going to be up close and personal, so being able to um, block some bullets here and there is going to be nice. You get nothing. I need to remember I've got my, my throwable as well here. Shop is very valuable here. Let's go for it. Mama Mega is not that great. Actually, Mama Mega might be pretty good. Um, thinking about it now. I don't know. Mama Mega... Stitches is just so good. I'd rather not take Mama Mega. But it would get us into things cheaper. I think instead I'm going to take the axe. Just because it's melee based. And I find that fun. I would also like the... Um, the, the bugger tier trinket, if I can get it, but I'm thinking that's going to be pretty unlikely. But yeah, just the the sort of action with this character of throwing the axe as well as having a scythe is just funny to me. I don't know why, but I just like that. Right, looks like we're not going to get the bugger tiers, unfortunately. Honestly, this, this guy's going to do his little... I knew he was going to do that jump, but I, I thought I could get the bomb out before I did anything bad. Sci-Fly, you are helping me immensely at keeping close to this guy. Thank you. 
Angel deal, awesome. Yes, please. Okay, that did lower my fire rate, but it has given me a new scythe. Of course, it's giving me a pretty big damage up as well. I don't know why that was a tears down. Not normally a tears down. I'm a bit unsure about that. Um, right, down we go. Down we go. Right, we don't. I, I think we're on on a decent pace right now. I think most enemies here we're going to kill in one hit. Maybe we want to be throwing a bit more often, just without having herming and higher damage. Maybe that's kind of the shtick here. Okay. I think the, the the big thing is that small enemies we're going to be killing in a single hit. Do not like runes like this. Get out my way. Also, let me quickly grab that fool card. Just because why not have one already? I also need to remember to drop a trinket. Good. good. I didn't stitches into this uh, cash room over here, but... Honestly, I'm only going to go for that if I have to double back at this point. I really want to be as quick as I can. I realize I've probably got more than enough time to be fine. There's two very bad hits there. I've probably got more than enough time to be fine. But um, I'm just playing it safe. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I was like, what's left? There's just like a hand there. Shard of glasses, unfortunately. A big no-no. I will not be taking that, thank you. Shard of glasses, not for me. Not for me at all. Oh, this is... This is pretty beautiful here. I very much like this. It's sad that we can't carry Malak Mott into, like, into other rooms. That would be super useful. Honestly, rooms like this, I could just use stitches. I could just be patient and walk it. But I'm like, nah, I'm just going to bomb it. I've, I have lost a lot of health I shouldn't have lost already. I will say that's a bit of a, a bit of a blunder on my behalf here. Oh my god. The damage output here is splendid. Splendid. More HP there, that's good. And yeah, honestly, let's just bounce. Um, make sure next floor to drop my trinket in the item room. I can also do it on the mausoleum, apparently, as well. So I could just leave it until then. We've got our full card. That's all good. I could try and play the demon beggar, but now I don't know my health. I, I, I don't want to risk it. I think the axe's damage is based on my damage, so... With Sacred Heart, it's doing pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. I'm, I'm glad we got a, a specific Scythe Synergy as well. But you guys just didn't decide to move. You were just pretty chill with, with where you've been placed. Being able to swing over gaps is just so enjoyable. Scyfly should pretty much save me entirely here. There is an extra key there, but... I don't really need it. Free Lemonade. That is unfortunate. Pretty much back-to-back -back bad item rooms. I mean, at this point, maybe Free Lemonade is actually okay for Boss Rush. Do you know what? It's it's it's, it's a weird move because there is definitely more use in Stitches. But I actually quite like Free Lemonade. And I think I can get some good use out of it. These enemies, as a melee character, very good chance of hitting me. Oh, we got one of those iron hearts. I still don't really know how the, the hearts work. Seems to be that when you have them, more of them spawn. I'm not exactly sure what heart, that, like what they're called. Yeah, rooms like this, we don't even need to use Malak Mot right now. We have a soul heart there if there's nothing down here. Um, ooh, that's really nice. The first hit of every room is times 10 damage. 
that's going to be very, very, very good with, um, that's a Dominic right there as well, actually. Beautiful. Right, that's going to be really good for most rooms. A hundred damage. Wow. Okay, do not like this room. I'm going to leave. Room I just do not care to actually try at in any way, shape, or form. Um, can I just point out that I have a hundred damage and it's not going away on first hitting an enemy? That was kind of the whole crux of this. Let's see if I fire. Does it go away? Oh, it does. But when I'm swinging, it does not. How interesting. Uh, full card, good. Um, item room we forgot to leave. It's, okay, we can... No! Okay, I, I got a bug there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna correct it because I'm mad. Don't worry, I got a bug, and I'm gonna correct it because I'm mad. Um, oh, we got a trinket here, which is good. That gives us a trinket back. Um, I think we go for this. I'm gonna destroy you as well. Yeah, this is strange. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but I love it. Um, yeah. So I got a bug. And some of you might not call it a bug. I'm going to call it a bug. Basically, what happened there is I tried to click control to switch between my card and my active to, to make sure I had the card still and accidentally dropped my trinket somehow, even though I'd only pressed it and didn't hold it. Um, so I dropped my full card and my trinket. So now I need to go um, like that and give myself a full card back. And some of you will be like, hey, that's cheating. Yes, it is, but it's a fun, so don't worry. Um, Wicked Soul's pretty good. Hot Wheels is pretty good. I think we're going to go with the Wicked. I cannot believe what whatever's happened here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell happened with my damage. Basically, the cyst um, giving us 10 times damage on the first hit. Due to the way that this guy technically attacks, he only does his first hit of the room upon um, actually firing a tear, which is strange because I wonder if this also works with the Forgotten in this, in this same way. But this basically means that we never actually lose our, um, our insane damage buff as long as we never hold the key. Which is obscene. Um, so we're able to kill things really, really easily. I am going to abuse the hell out of this because it's fun. Um, I realize some of you may disagree with that, but I think finding a bug like this is pretty fun. I would suggest to wh whomever is the developer of the cyst thing, just make it whenever you press, um, whenever you press one of the directional attack keys. Rather than making it when a shot is actually fired, just if you press an attack key, it it then removes it after that. Although I don't know how that would actually work for some charge shot things. I don't know. It's, it's a hard solution, I guess. It's not as simple as I might have thought. But this certainly shouldn't be happening, and the fact that it is is kind of hilarious. I was like, ooh, we'll take the free lemonade. That'll be useful. Turns out, no. Lovely. We've not even used Malak Mott yet. Who are you? You bouncing around? Bouncing around at the speed of sound. Like most most enemies at this point are a two hit kill. This is what I call a sacred scythe. I wonder if my little dudes had get any damage from us. Hit him once and then just let let the free lemonade do the rest. And yeah, Sci-Fly will do us a good job as well. The Soul Heart there. Punishment of the Grave, was that called? I think that's what I saw. And then we get the Shovel, which is digging up chests. That's probably better in the long run here. Let's take that and then let's full card out. We've left a trinket behind. We are good to go. We are good to go. Yeah, a little bit annoying that I got that book with a full card there. Um, 
It is what it is, though. You guys got a bit fresh. Got a chest straight away. Fortunately, it's just pills, and I'm not wanting to take pills right now. Damn, I'm gonna have to wait for you to land. Pop a single feather at me first, for some reason out of your mouth, but I won't question it. Unfortunately, we can't see our health yet again. It's getting a little bit annoying, but not a big deal to us. Ah, we're at max, there you go. We don't need to know, the game told us. Not sure what you're doing with that ash, don't care for it. Here's the boss. Good, good. Make sure to grab our item room on the way back. The reason that I didn't grab the item room the first time around is that if you get it on the ascent, it shows you what both the items are rather than one of them being hidden. So it's slightly better to get them on the way up because then you know what you're grabbing. I have lowered my fire rate quite a bit. But I now have 424 damage. Um, that's a big scythe. Even, even now, if we got rid of the 10 times damage boost, we'd still have like 42 damage. That's still quite a bit. Although I do have abysmal fire rate. But when everything dies in a single hit, fire rate's not that big of a concern. Right, brimstone -y boy. I see ya. I see ya. Right, we just keep going. You've got a scythe too. Look, we're scythe buddies. <laughs> it's, it's that meme, isn't it? Like, I'm you but stronger. I should be using my shovel, really. Just to see if we get anything else. Right. Good, good. Wow. I'm able to kill that guy in one hit. That's when you know shit's real. Right, might as well open this. Just hoping for an item, didn't end up getting it. I should love the sheer size of our scythe as well. It's got pretty big. I imagine with like insane ranges up. Like if you got like um tiny planet plus um rogue planet, like that would be insane. Or planetoid, whatever it's called. That'd be insane because th that I've had that combo a few times, and that gives you like 40 something range. So I imagine your scythe would just be like a ludicrous size if you did that. But this, this is a very fun run. I don't even know how I'm going to thumbnail this one. This, runs like this are always so crazy. Cause it, it, that is like genuinely my biggest sort of issue with getting runs like this. I'm just like, how do I accurately thumbnail something like this? How do I depict this in a thumbnail? Because people are going to want to know. Oh, you're a bit of a shit, aren't you? Doesn't matter how much damage I have for this guy. He takes six hits. That's it. We can actually get the old bandage now if we wanted it, but honestly, I don't really care. Both of those are dead in a single hit. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might be the most damage I've ever had without it being like... Because this is a glitch, technically. 
but it's 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 not really a glitch it's more of a flaw than a glitch so this is like the, the most damage i've ever had without without it being a, a proper glitch i've had some glitches where i just get infinite damage before but this is the first like one i've had that's like a flaw more so because technically we do have this damage it's just we're not supposed to be able to keep it and we are able to keep it that's that's the the flaw shouldn't be a reason why we're able to just have this. Ethereal Penny, thank you. Oh god. He went straight into the wall. Good, good. Honestly, the spiders, please stop with the spiders. Beautiful. Sci-Fly has saved me from so many hits as well. Sometimes he doesn't die in one hit. Not quite sure what that's about. Hey, big fella. Right, up we go. We've got our cracked key. This is it. This has been a, a, quite a momentous run. Just remember to never charge shot during this entire fight. That's going to ruin things if we do that. Now, these guys do have boss armor, so it's not going to be the insta-kill we've been seeing. But it's still going to be a very fast kill. Hello. I'm very intrigued to play this character. I might be one of the first people to unlock this genuinely because this is a very fast run and i am not kidding saying that i i downloaded this thing minutes after it came out i might be one of the first people to unlock um oh god the fucking fire rate oh this bloody attack i always forget how to do it um oh god oh stupid i might be one of the first people to get it just because this runs so powerful Awesome. So, unfortunately, this is going to slow us down a little bit, but Sci-Fly will help. I'm going to try and hit you right as you fly under me. It's a little bit difficult to do. It's actually going pretty well, actually. There you go. I'm going to go post it on the Reddit, like, after this and see, um, see what people's reactions are. On the Reddit, I mean on the uh, on the Discord. So as you can see with these guys, I need to be using Malik Mot a bit more. Like that does increase fire rate. I've not really been using it just because I've had literally no need to. But with the fire rate increase we get from it here, it's pretty damn good. Also seems to recharge incredibly quickly because I think it's recharge is based on damage, and of course we do a lot of damage. Yeah, I, I literally recharge it in one hit. I should have been using that on the Dogma fight. I didn't even think about that. Get out of my face. I didn't even think about how strong Malik Mott is right now. This is ludicrous. Also, if you're wondering what the hell's going on with the blood splats, that's a weird glitch with the axe where it just produces a billion of them, and I'm not really sure as to why. I don't know how he's not entered his next phase yet. There you go. That was very strange. He kind of, like, stayed in his other phase for so long out of shock. Okay, we, we've accidentally pushed him off screen. Malik Mott does also make us quite invincible too. Which is pretty nice. Also makes us look badass as hell. This is awesome. Right. 
This should be fairly quick. I'm completely stuck in his mouth, but I don't really care. Dropping bombs while I can here. Boom, bow. That is amazing. Right. There you go. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was amazing. And I will see you guys in the next one.